Hello guys and welcome to another Tech Fusion episode. I'm your host Alex, same as always, and today we're going to tackle the only important subject of dual mining Ethereum and Alphium altogether. We're going to be using the RTX 3080 LHR as this is uh, quite a common GPU out there in the crypto mining community. And of course we're going to go over the uh, Alphium, what is uh, Alphium altogether, how exactly you can download and install the new wallet that you have to get with this new cryptocurrency, how exactly and uh, what uh, mining pools you should adhere to, and of course, uh, we're going to go over all these setups and uh, exactly what updates you have to make to your GPU mining softwares. Of course, we're talking about the T-Rex Miner, the new version that uh, is just launched and uh, has to be used for this new cryptocurrency to work. And of course, the all-important topic of what exact profits you stand to make by mining Alphium all together with Ethereum on these new LHR cards. Now, I should say exactly the LHR cards, they are new, but this new cryptocurrency, so you get the point. But before I can go on in today's video, we have to tell you exactly how you can stand to make $250 in Ethereum by just taking a look at our quick sponsor over here. And today's sponsor, which is once again us over here at TechFusion, we are giving away $250 in Ethereum. So if you want to be a part of this giveaway, we definitely encourage you to click here. The link, uh, it's, it's a video about two or three minutes long. It explains uh, how exactly you can be a part of our giveaway and definitely how exactly you can take, it, uh, take part and be a part of our community. So we definitely encourage you to do that uh, before we move on with today's video. So first of all, uh, if you head on over to the Alphium website, which is right here, uh, alphium.org, uh, you can uh, find a bit of info, info about them if that's uh, what you want to know and uh, exactly what this cryptocurrency is. Otherwise, if you already know about it, then you can just scroll down here to get the wallet. This is very important as you'll have to get a wallet for yourself and you'll be redirected to the GitHub page where you can download this said wallet. So if you go ahead and open up the um, downloaded uh, new wallet here, um, it will probably open up and look a little bit different than mine because I have already created a wallet. But you can, uh, well, if you click here, it will look just as brand new, the same as it's going to look for you. So you click here, you go to the new wallet. So you have to create a new wallet actually. I don't know, just put in here um, your name, doesn't matter. It has to be your name and a very secure password. Not like the one that I'm going to use right now, although you're not going to see it. It is going to be um, something very easy, I don't know, like password and a number afterward. Right, so once that's uh, all said and done, you'll need a piece of paper. It is highly recommended that you get a piece of paper, so it is a uh, quote-unquote cold storage situation. Uh, where you'll have to write down the address if you want to. Of course, that would be quite uh, quite helpful, but this is definitely what you need to keep in mind, the secret passphrase or phrase, as I should say. Uh, there are 24 words, as you can see here. They're absolutely crucial that you write them down in the same order. And once you will be uh, done with copying them down to a piece of paper, you'll have to actually put them into the correct order as you have been uh, instructed uh, just previously. So once you are all said and done and uh, you have done this, you can definitely go back to your wallet. So I will head on back to my wallet right now. And once you are logged in into your wallet, it will look something like this. Pretty, pretty basic. You don't really need anything, just the total balance. Of course, you'll have a show my address button right here, which is definitely useful and it will have to copy for your installation of the uh, dual mining process and that's just about it of course you have a send uh, token here but that's that's pretty much all you get and that's pretty much all you need anyways now on the other side of things uh, if you are interested on uh, exactly how the mining pool works that's definitely okay i'm going to show you that right now um i am going to first well what i should recommend anyway is going to um to miningstatspool.com so anyway i'll just alphium mining pool stats on google and you'll find them here miningpoolstats.stream sorry not .com and over at alphium there are a few options here. I went with the Hero Miners option uh, just because at the moment the fees are at 0%. Um, this is not going to be forever. It's just going to happen, I think, until the end of February. But definitely, I recommend these guys are quite okay. Uh, so if you're unsure exactly on how to start mining with these guys, actually, it's, everything is pretty simple. All you need from them is a pool address, which uh, they will definitely... Uh, show you right here so once you access their website they have a few uh, well a few uh, clickable options right here first of all is the, their home page and their start page and this is definitely where you can find your mining server uh, you have to choose the closest one to you 
uh, for me, Germany is uh, the closest one to me, so definitely keep a mind out or definitely keep an eye out of which server is closest to you because you'll have lower latency and that's quite important. And once you do so and you introduce this into your, uh, well, into your settings over here when you're setting up your miner, then uh, everything gets quite fine. Uh, in order to find your, uh, well, whatever you're doing with your, with your GPUs and how much money you're making, you'll have to get your uh, Ethereum, or I should say your wallet for, uh, for Alphium, and introduce your wallet and hit look up. And once you did that, well, you'll definitely find some information about your miner, like your current hash rate, your average hash rate an hour, six hours, 24 hours, and all of the other pieces of information right here. Um, do you mind that right now, as I've said, and as you can see here, to celebrate launch, we offer the pool at 0% fee for the next four weeks until the end of February. Uh, we have a reduced block um, unlock time from 500 minutes to 50 minutes in order to pay the miners faster. So miners will receive funds in their wallets 10 times faster. So there's definitely, um, there are definitely some perks of uh, using alphium.herominer.com for the moment until um, the end of February anyway. And that's pretty good if you start mining with them. Of course, you can do some solo mining or you can do some pool mining. And you have some stats over here about the network as well. As you can see, pool mining right now has a block uh, that's being paid out every 11 seconds. And the solo mining is actually doing very good as well with a block found every two minutes estimate. And there are only 130 miners connected with 221 GPUs doing the work, which is actually quite cool. Uh, the minimum payout is uh, one Alphium and the payout interval it's uh, it's in one hour so if you do more than one alf one alf uh, every hour you're not going to get uh, a payout every time you're going to reach one alf fume, but uh, you are going to be paid out every one hour now that the uh, wallet situation has been covered we'll have to move on and download the latest t-rex version as this is the latest version of t-rex that actually supports dual mining with alfium and ethereum uh, for your lhr cards they do say it's going to do so in about 68% Ethereum and the rest of the 32% is going to be covered by Alphium, which is set by default. Uh, this is very nice as it will allow you to actually use 100% of your LHR card. The uh, most of the work being done for Ethereum as uh, well as until now you couldn't actually do so. You had to mine something else uh, more and Ethereum less and this is actually a... Uh, a good good uh, sort of thing that is happening right now so um yeah you can find it here on under github you go uh, github and find the latest t-rex minor release and uh, definitely go ahead and download this for windows um the version 0.25.2 as i've said and once you do so you can go on ahead and extract it wherever you have it so in my case it's going to be uh, right here i've already downloaded and installed it onto my mining rig using this so well of course steam viewer as you can see here and yes we do have it over here great so once you open it up of course you'll have to extract it first i've already done so and i'm not going to do so um, again uh, and if you head on over to your uh, newly extracted software over here you have a few options first of all you have your lhr unlock ethereum uh, and um, the uh, new coin over here which is alfium i always forget this name this is quite new for me but anyway so uh, ethereum and alfium ethereum and coinflex ergo Fyro, raven coin whatever so these are the standard configurations that you can actually do it but this is the one that we are actually very interested in so this is the uh, dual unlock which allows you to actually mine ethereum and alfium with ethereum being the uh, more mined coin so to say um, so if you go on ahead and edit this file over here you'll find a few configuration details so this is t-rex xa so this is pretty much the standard uh, configuration so to say when it comes to um, ethereum uh, definitely you have to input the right address for you as it is uh, well whatever mine uh, or whatever pool you are mining with so this is what you will have to input here alongside with your address for your ethereum so this is my ethereum uh, wallet address right here uh, afterwards, for me in my instance, I'm having um, I'm having two GPUs in this rig. One of them is being LHR, and the other one is non-LHR. So that's why I'm pretty uh, pretty much uh, determining which of the rig or which of the two GPUs I'm going to use with this algorithm right here. And the other uh, well pieces of information uh, over here are of course the uh, address for the new Alfium um, website, or I should say pool which is, uh, well, by default is gonna be this one. So uh, this is uh, based in Europe, uh, in Germany more to be exact. And of course, the new wallet that you will have to input over here. Uh, the new address for your wallet, of course, is gonna be uh, the one that you have just um, predetermined to be from your uh, wallet over here. 
right so uh, you can go on here after you open it up show your address find your address and copy that address and once you copy the address you can just go on ahead and input it into this uh, space over here after all things are said and done you can uh, definitely um, close or I should say save and then close this uh, software right here and I'm just gonna reopen it so that you can see or well I, I could get it to, I could leave it running it is the same thing so this is uh, the RTX 3080 which is LHR the one that I have just mentioned and as you can see yeah right well I, I can't stop it from uh, from scrolling down but anyway this is the RTX 3080 as you can see here so it is uh, at the moment mining both ethereum which is uh, doing so at around 70 72 mega hashes a second and both alpheum at around 650 megahertz a second of course it's not an astronomical uh, mining capability for uh, alpheum because i am actually allowing this card to uh, mine more ethereum and for the difference between uh, its 100% potential and its actually 70% potential to all the way up to 100% i'm going to let it mine it, um, alpheum so I'm just going to show you guys the difference of this RTX 3080 mining around 70% of its potential only on Ethereum and the profits that I was making with that. And of course I am going to actually include now the, well put, not potentially, but I'm going to actually include the um, revenue that I'm going to get out of this Alpheum as well alongside with the Ethereum for this card. So now that we have established what the card is, uh, well, what the card is doing, uh, first of all, I'll uh, show you what the card was doing. It was doing around 80 mega hashes a second. So this is the RTX 3080 LHR. And if you aren't sure, uh, unsure exactly how to reach this efficiency, uh, you'll find the, the video right up here in the corner showing you exactly what settings you have to go through in order to reach this efficiency on your um, LHR cards or the RTX 3080 series anyways. So uh, with 80 mega hashes a second, with the price being what it is today on February 5th, 2022, we were doing around $5.58 a day. So if we take the $5.58 a day and multiply this with 30 days, we arrive at $167 uh, per month. So I'll we'll just leave it written here, 167. So that's what we were doing just prior to this new dual mine possibility. Now, with this dual mine possibility, as you saw, we actually dropped to 70 mega hashes a second with this card. And we are reaching an astound, well, very good uh, deal there, 4.88 times 30 days. So that's 146. So now we have dropped down to 146 in Ethereum, or I should say $146 every month for Ethereum mining, plus whatever we are able to mine with Alpheum. So with Alpheum, I'm doing around, as you have seen there, 0.5, uh, well, mega, 6 mega hashes a second. So that gives us a rough estimate of, let's not put in the power here because I'm not interested in that, a rough estimate of $0.88 every day. So if we take the $0.88 every day, multiply this with 30 days, that's another $26 um, in Alpheum. So plus 26. So then we have 126 plus 146 so this is okay plus 146 and we are doing 172.4 so that's 172 dollars a month mining ethereum and alpheum all together with this gpu as you can see just prior to that we were doing 167 so this is uh, what we were doing before and this is what we are doing right now so that means that our GPU is actually working quite well and it's actually been, uh, well, unlocked fully, so to say. As you can see right now, we are doing 71 mega hashes on the Ethereum side and around uh, 450. And this kind of bounces a lot around, so we'll have to wait for it to stabilize a little bit more. But this is definitely what we can get out of this RTX 3080. So that makes me a pretty happy miner along with all of you guys, I suspect. So yeah, as you can see right now, we are doing around 650 mega hashes, so it bounces around a little bit. Not a big deal, but this is definitely very good as we have unlocked the potential or more potential out of this RTX 3080. Another quick thing that I want to mention here is the coin's value. So if you head on over to coinmarketcap.com, you'll find Alfium over here and you'll have your... Uh, well, your date scroll over here. So I just uh, chose all, so that's its uh, its whole lifespan. So from the moment it was launched on the markets here. So as you can see, it was launched on the market somewhere on the 12th of January, 2022. And the price of Alpheum when it was launched was $1.4.
Of course, it had a lot more backing behind it. So it had uh, a maximum of $1.1 million backing up this cryptocurrency at the moment of launch or just uh, whereabouts or just thereabouts. And as time went on, like with most cryptocurrencies nowadays, you'll find that the uh, money behind this cryptocurrency started to gradually um, go out or I should say the investors uh, started getting their money back. So uh, right now we are at the current value of 0.58 cents and the money behind this cryptocurrency is sitting at around $41,000. So yeah, not a whole lot compared to the 1.1 million dollars or 1.10 million dollars that was initially invested behind this cryptocurrency. But we will definitely have to wait and see what is going to happen with it. At the moment, we can just be happy that we have managed to unlock our GPUs and it is basically free mining for us because we were already using up the electricity, just using it at around 70 to 80 percent potential with Ethereum and we couldn't get anything out of it anyway anymore. So uh, this being the case, we can definitely mine something for free in a sense because we are still using the same electricity or thereabouts anyway to mine something extra that, uh, well, let's hope probably is going to become more profitable in the future. Thank you guys once again for watching this video. This was Alex from TechFusion. Don't forget you can leave all your thoughts and comments down in the box below. We'll do our best to answer each and every one of you. And as well, don't forget uh, that you can join our Discord server. So if you have any timely uh, or I should say any questions that you want to be answered in a timely fashion, you can definitely check us out on Discord as well.